What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 two-word expressions. For sure, you know all the words separately, but when they are repeated or used with other words, they form a new meaning that you might not know. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary effortlessly? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off! Let's get started. First, we're going to learn five expressions in which one word is repeated twice and it forms a different meaning. So, the first expression on my list today is there, there. So, of course, we know what there means. But what about there, there? To tell the truth, I've learned this expression recently and it was thanks to my friend Victor, who's helped me with today's video. Thank you, Victor. So, there, there. We use it to comfort someone who is very upset, especially a child. So imagine you see a child who is crying and you could say, they are there, don't cry. And one more example, picture you have a friend who is very sad and you could say, they are there, everything will be just fine. Let's move on to our second expression, which is in line with the first one, here, here. So the same, we all know what here means, but when it's repeated, here, here, it means that we agree with someone. So it's a synonym of I agree with you. I must say that it's not very common and it's mainly used by politicians when debating. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, it's of paramount importance to nip climate change in the bud. Here, here. And in this example, we've got a super useful idiom that can come in handy when taking your English exams, and it's to nip something in the bud. It means to stop something bad as soon as it starts before it becomes worse. And one more example, we need to make our office more eco-friendly. Here, here. And now let's move on to our third two-word expression, which is now, now. So what do you think now, now means? This expression is used to express criticism or disapproval in a gentle way. And now a few examples. The first one, now, now, there is no need to panic. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together is also a super useful expression that means calm down. And one more example, Jack has been really annoying lately. Now, now, he hasn't been that bad. And now we're going to learn two more childish expressions. Number four, wakey wakey. It can be used in two different situations. The first one is when we want to wake someone up and it's often said to children. For example, wakey wakey, sleepy head. And if you want to make this expression even funnier, you can say wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. And the second situation in which you can use wakey wakey is when you want someone to pay attention. For example, wakey wakey, we have a lot to get through in today's class. Number five, night night. So this expression is used to say good night and especially to a child. And one example, night night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And guys, before we continue and learn five more expressions, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to English Bits if you like my channel and activate the bell. There is a weekly lesson 
waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson. We're going to learn five expressions that contain very simple words, but form a new and different meaning. Number six, as if. This expression is used to say that you don't believe that something will happen or is possible. So it's another way to say, I very much doubt it. Let's put it into a simple sentence. Are you going on vacation soon? As if. It's very similar to I wish. And one more example. I think Barcelona will win the league this year. As if. Let's move on to our expression number seven. How come? It's informal. It's very common and popular. And it's used to ask why something happened. So it's another way to ask why, a great synonym. Let's look at two examples. The first one, how come they broke up? So it's another way to ask why did they break up? How come? And one more example, they decided to put the wedding on ice. How come? And here we've got one more idiom to put something on ice, which means to postpone or delay something. And number eight, I like this one a lot, and it's just because. It can be used in two different scenarios. The first one is when you want to avoid explanation. So it's like you don't feel like explaining why you're doing something. Let's put it into a simple sentence. Why are you leaving? Just because. And the second meaning is for no reason. For example, why are you calling me so early? Just because. Tomorrow to go, number nine, so what? It means I don't care and it's not important. Let's look at two examples. The first one, this restaurant is way too expensive. So what? It's a celebratory lunch. Let's splash out. And to splash out is a C2 phrase verb that means to spend a lot of money. And the second example is from the movie that I've seen recently. It's called Stuck Together. It's about COVID and it's available on Netflix. It's very funny. And the example is, you are too young to have a girlfriend. So what? And last but not least, number 10, so long. It's another way to say goodbye, but it's old fashioned and not very common. So you may not hear it very often. For example, so long, my love. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned some new expressions. If there were any new expressions that you didn't know, please let me know which expressions were new or simply which expressions you liked most. And of course, if you learned something new and liked this lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!